Professor Clements with you doing another example of um, image formation um, material related to chapter 25 of the OpenStax College Physics book. So here we have a situation where uh, two lenses are in place. We have an object over here to the left and uh, we have lens number one that has a focal length of 12 centimeters. So F1 would be the image, or sorry, the focal point for lens one, F1 also on the other side. Our object is 22 centimeters away. And the object has a height of four centimeters. A second lens is going to be placed here that has a focal length of 18 centimeters, F2 are the focal points and it's nine centimeters away from the first lens. So we do this problem step by step. I'm going to do the ray tracing uh, first to show how to locate the image. This will get a little cluttered so bear with me. The, for lens number one I'll draw those rays in black. I use rule number one for ray tracing. I bring a line parallel to the optic axis till it hits this first lens and then I have to proceed through the focal point of lens number one. That's one ray. The second ray is going to pass through the center of lens one. and I've located the first image. So this first image, when we do the calculation, this will become the object for the second lens, for lens number two. But let's see if we can do the ray tracing and uh, determine where the second image will be located. First, a few concepts. We have a converging lens here that's created a real image. Another converging end, lens, that's going to create an image closer in. There's going to be a con more convergence of these lines. So in a shorter distance, we should find our image. So let's see if that works out. Now, I'm going to put an extra line in here from there are many rays that go through lens one and one of those rays will pass through the center of lens number two. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that in and then I'm going to make use of the third rule for ray tracing. I'm going to take a, a ray from the object through the focal point of lens one stop when I get to lens one. How does the ray leave lens one? Uh, it leaves parallel to the optic axis. So I'm going to try to draw this uh, parallel. Now we've reached lens two. At lens two we have light that's parallel to its optic axis. That light has to head towards the focal point of lens two. Light that comes in parallel passes through the focal point for that lens. And I see a crossing point of these two red rays right here. This would be the final image. So let's do the calculation now. So again we're given the object distance we're making use of uh, the relationship 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F. We have the DO value given. That's the uh, 22. So I'd have 1 over 22 plus 1 over DI, the image distance, equals 1 over 12. In the process of solving this, I'm going to subtract 1 over 22, that term, from both sides and I'll have 1 over di and go ahead and use the calculator here. I came up uh, 0 0.03788 and then pressing 1 over x 
x to the minus 1 key on your calculator. You know, I have to invert both sides here. This is over 1. Invert both sides. I get di is 1 divided by this number. And the di I came up with was 26.4 centimeters. So 26.4 centimeters. Um, so, so far so good. So here is uh, the 12 centimeters for lens number one has focal length of 12 centimeters and we're beyond that. Um, it's in roughly the right spot for image number one. This is image one. Now image one becomes the object for lens number two. So for lens two, the object distance, well, we're 26.4 centimeters from lens one. The two lenses are separated by nine centimeters. So I would see 17.4 centimeters between lens 2 and its object. Again, the first image is the object for the second lens. I need to, however, obey the traditional plus and minus conventions here. This object the second lens object lies to the right of the lens. The object distance I used over here is a positive. When I, in this uh, convention, have an object to the right, it's a negative distance. I have to just insert a negative sign. So there is DO for the second lens, minus 17.4. And now again, we use our uh, lens equation, and we would have um, 1 over di for lens 2, 1 over f minus 1 over do is what I'm writing out here. I'm going ahead and shifting the 1 over do to the right side. So the focal length is 18 centimeters. I'm subtracting 1 over do. Do itself is minus 17.4. So 1 over 18, these two minus signs will cancel, and I'll have a plus for that second term. And you should go ahead and work this out yourself. I came out with DI2 of 8.85 centimeters. And looking here, I can see that's reasonable. You know, from here to here is 12. This is a shorter distance, so 8.85 would, would be fine. That's our final image uh, location. Now, what about the magnification? Well, there are two stages of magnification for this uh, problem. There are two lenses. So the magnification total will be magnification for lens 1 times magnification for lens 2. The magnification for lens 1, we always have a minus sign. And then we'd have the image distance, 26.4 for lens 1 divided by the object distance, 22. So that's magnification for lens 1. The magnification for lens 2, again, there's a minus sign in the calculation of magnification. And we have 8.85 for the image distance. And we have minus 17.4 for the object distance. Doing that calculation, and I'm doing it uh, sort of term by term, factor by factor, I should say. I came up with uh, minus 1.2 for this first calculation. And for the second calculation, I came up with 0 0.456. The minus signs have canceled here. And you multiply those together, and you get minus 0 0.547. That's our overall magnification. So our height will be this overall magnification multiplied by the height of the object. So the height will be minus 0 0.547 multiplied by the 4 centimeters. That's minus 2.2 centimeters. 
So it's smaller than the object. That's what our ray tracing is uh, in agreement with. Our final image here is smaller than our object. What is the meaning of the minus sign? Well, again, this minus sign tells us that the image is inverted compared to the orientation of the object. This image arrow points down, the object arrow pointed up. So we've calculated the final image location when two lenses are involved. The key concept is that the uh, image formed by the first lens becomes the object for the second lens. You must adjust this image number for the separation of the two lenses and then you must take into account the uh, sign convention for where the object is located. This object was on the right side of the lens and the convention I'm using that makes the object distance a negative number. So keep practicing with that and ask your instructor some questions.